Hi friends, welcome to Startup Talk series. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is effective communication and how it can help in a startup company or in your career. Let's see more details about what is effective communication and other details. Before explaining about what is effective communication, I would like to ask you a few questions. Have you ever seen a marriage invitation? A marriage invitation has so many fields, name, location, what is the timing, how we can reach and who is the contact person and a lot of fields will be there in the marriage invitation. One more question is, have you seen the passport application or any application form in your life? It will have so many fields in the application form. And the next question is, if you go to a hospital, have you seen a patient record? It will have the current status of the patient so that when the patient moves to the next doctor, they can easily understand what is the status of the patient and then start the treatment. And in the IT industry, have you seen the design specification or API specification? There will be so many fields the team has to fill so that the other team can understand what is the expectation from the API specification or design specification. Have you ever thought about why there are so many templates, why there are so many forms with multiple fields? What is the use of having such forms and templates? Let's see what is communication. Communication is a transfer of information from one person to the other person or one team to the other team or one company to the other company. It's a transfer of information from one place to the other. And if it's effectively done, then it's called effective communication without any chaos. If the communication happens, then it's called effective communication. Let's see a simple example to understand it. Let's see an example to know what is effective communication. There is a manager, he asked Beno to ask more details about the new feature to Jessica. Beno is setting up a meeting with Jessica and he's asking a lot of questions and collecting the information and he's going to the manager. And manager says, did you ask the version, it will be available and few other questions. So Beno is asking again Jessica for further questions and getting the answer. So there is a lot of back and forth meeting happened between manager, Beno and Jessica. This is not effective. There is a chaos. This is one scenario. Let's see the second scenario. Again, the same manager is asking Praveen to collect some information from Jessica about the new feature. So Praveen before going to Jessica, he tried to understand what exactly manager wants and he collect all the questions and prepares the templates or a form before going to Jessica. So he collects the information or list of questions from manager and he's prepared well and he take a pause before going to Jessica. And once the template or forms or set of questions are gathered, he goes to Jessica and set up a meeting and ask all the questions and get the answer and he goes back to the manager and submit all the answers. So this is called as effective communication. He prepares well, he took a pause and asked the manager and tries to understand what exactly manager wants. He prepared the list of questions, prepared the template or prepared a form with list of fields and then he went to Jessica to get all the information. So there is no lot of back and forth communication happens between manager Praveen and Jessica. This is called as effective communication. This is one of the technique which I know. If you know any other technique for effective communication, please post your answer in the comment section. Hi friends, I just shared a very simple basic information about effective communication which I know. Hope this small information is helpful. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to interview.channel. Thank you.